Welcome back to Let's Play Battletech, the campaign. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's part two of a double feature. This is the priority mission immediately following the last one. We have to go rescue Kamea. So we are running with nobody from our team. And Kamea has come out here in an atlas. Taurian Recon Lance Leader, Lady Kamea Urano of the Urano Restoration, on behalf of the Taurian Concordat, I hereby command you to... Oh, shit, Iberia. They're piloting an SLDF battle mechs. We need reinforcements now. Mech warriors, our way home is on the other side of these Taurians. Push through them and fight for the Reach. Alright, so we get... Just a heads up. When we get to a safe distance, I'm going to set off a little surprise I left behind for our Torian Oh, well, that sounds fun. Surprise? I like the sound of that. You'll see. Trust me. You're going to love it. I think that probably involves an explosion, don't you? Mm, I'm hit. Yes, you are. Well... Here comes the Jenner. Before we even... His name is Kanala. Kana, Kana, Kanaloa. I thought it was Kanola. <laughs> it's Kanaloa. Nice. Well, Kanaloa. Yes, here comes more mechs. Before we even get a chance to do everything, everybody's going to get a chance to shoot at us. Um, let's see. What's their mech that's going to get to move? Oh, they have a Shadow Hawk. Okay. Well... What, what are we dealing with here? The Griffin is the first one that can shoot. Now, he can go up there and punch this fire starter if he wants to. Because um, he's already hot. So I think that might be the best option. His attack is 85% for a melee hit. We all know the rules. If we miss, you got a drink. Oh, and he, he managed to crush its left leg. So that's awesome. It's on the ground. Great. Now the Shadowhawk's going to do its thing. It's going to shoot at somebody. Kama Kamea Arano is the only one of this that needs to survive this whole thing. So, we don't... In a, in a way, the smartest thing is to just get her to run, but she's got an Alice. She's not really running anywhere. So. Kanaloa can do a bunch of different things. Um, we can go up here and have him bust this commando in the face if we want to. Which might not be such a bad idea. Because if he moves, all he can really do is move up here. And then he's got, he's got a bunch of lasers. He's going to get one evasion. That's as far as he can get and get one evasion and still shoot somebody. So he can go like this. And then he's going to be what? He's 70% to hit this guy on a lot of these. 70 and 65, which is not great. Or he could just go up here and punch this guy in the face. He's 85% to hit, and he's got a small laser for 75. Get your flask ready. For physical attack. And there you go. Drink. So, two physical attacks. One misses, one hits. It might as well have been a coin flip. Forget about 85%. It, it was effectively a coin flip. So. It doesn't matter what... When people talk about random number generation, remember, it doesn't matter what the number says. It matters what happens. So it may say 85%, but if it always behaves like it's 50%, then you got to believe the universe hates you. Totally. Kamea has a chance here to do something. Uh, what are what can she do? She can back up and shoot at people. She has a bunch of different weapons, long range weapons. She has an AC twenty. That's the most important thing. Okay. Um, see, I want to move forward, but it's just not going to happen. Okay, we're going to back up a little bit. I'd like to put a couple of lasers into that guy. Oh, SRMs would be good. Okay, so LRMs can hit any of these guys. All right. The commando should be easy to hit with that LRM, but he's not. It's just amazing. Let's do main weapon. SRM's on the ground. Okay, main weapon, AC-20. We're going to shoot at that guy. We're going to shoot the extended range lasers at him. 
we're going to shoot the SRM at the little fire starter. We're going to shoot the LRMs at the commando. Can we also get... We can't get anything else at the commando. So medium pulse lasers. Let me make sure this guy's going to die. Let's do this. Copy that. that helps. Those help. At least she can hit. Not dead yet. Okay. Oh, little commando, you are elite. You dodged a massive melee attack, and then you also just... You just are immune to anything, aren't you? What can we do here? We can do this. Right. Highlander. This is a really nice one. It's the 732B. It's the it's the brilliant one. You have medium lasers and a short range missile to try to kill that guy. You have 50% to hit him. You have 55% to hit him with the Gauss rifle. So let's do this again. Same kind of pattern here. The SRM is going to go into the short guy over here. The LRM. Who do we have? Shoot that guy. The Gauss. All right, go. Roger. Oh. oh. Imagine how dead that guy would been if if we'd have hit him with a if we'd have hit him with the melee attack to start with. Okay, nobody's dead yet. That's disappointing. The goal is always to kill at least one thing a turn. <laughs> and when you can't do it, and here comes the Jenner. It's like, hey, I'm going to flank you from behind because guess what? You couldn't kill my other friends here that you should have killed. Two of them should already be dead. But, but here we are. Oh, and there's another Jenner. And there's canola oil on the Black Knight. Canaloa. Yeah, no, Canaloa, you need to. Good to go. So, Canaloa, here's the Griffin. The Griffin can do a lot of different things here. If he backs up a little bit, what's he got? If he backs up here, you can shoot three people. Okay. What do you got? You got this guy, extended range PPC to shoot him 75%. And then, what do you got? Two SRM6s? Good. We're just going to do this. See if you can kill two people at the same time. I uh, it's not a kill, but it helps. That's a kill. Okay. Okay. We're a step closer to being where we want to be. I hear cars rumbling. Here they come with their shots. I'd like to back my Black Knight up. Damage minimal. Okay. Aye, aye. Canola. Oh, let's see. You're the Black Knight. You're this guy. Oh, okay. If I back you up here. I copy. I've never ever had one of these fully put together. I've never. I've just never been that lucky. Um, yeah. Let's. Let, there's two of them on the ground. Let's make sure they don't get back up. How about that? The PPC, we're going to shoot at him, and then basically we're just going to do three large lasers. And do this. Let's do this. Roger. There we go. All that heat I'm generating, I didn't need. <clears throat> oh, that should have done it. Yep, it did. <laughs> I was like, mm. you always have to wait for the lasers. Okay, this is better though. Now, yeah, I know. Well, and they're gonna. We need to kill these two Jenners then, so they can't see us. So let's get those killed. Kamea, let's go. Let's go with this person first. What can you do? Now, if you're gonna attack this person, perfect. Okay, 85% for the Highlander. I'd rather see it shoot its Gauss rifle, but it's so close. That helps. Kamea, can you scooch yes, you. a little bit? 
Okay, she can scooch a lot, actually. Okay, scooch and give yourself room to fire some weapons. Um, what do you got? You got nine AC-10s and then a bunch of lasers. Okay, and then you got this bozo down here. All right. She's not having any kind of heat problems at all, is she? Okay, I don't... I think we should be able to kill this thing without wasting our AC-20. So let's turn that off. Let's go. Confirmed. That's what I like to see. I like to be able to figure out the math correctly in my head for what really needs to happen here and then have it happen. Okay. My Black Knight. Took a hard hit there. Yeah, it's one of the mechs I've never been able to have so far as a Black Knight. I just can never get one fully in one piece. Okay, so now everybody else is... Waiting for the right move. Can't see us, so they can't shoot us from range. They gotta come closer. So this will give us a chance to reserve everybody. Waiting for the shot. And then we can move up and pick people off how we want to. Okay. Reynard, you have the Griffin. Can you get over here far enough? You kind of can. Good. On my way. Can you shoot this thing? Not very good. Because he moved a long way, didn't he? Okay, put as many holes in him as you can. Well, we like that. Left leg destroyed. That's okay. Alright. I'm listening. Let's fight our way down there. You gotta fight Copy for that. your right to destroy mechs. Okay, the Gauss rifle should kill it. Um, anything else would kind of be overkill. But we have no heat problems, so I'm just not going to waste missiles is all I'm going to do. I don't care. Firing. Correct. Mech destroyed. Is that your final answer? Yes, it is. You have my attention. Okay, Black Knight can go down here and can see somebody. But then everybody else is going to get to see us. Um, that's kind of the problem. Oh, but he can see that car. Let's see if you can kill that thing. What is it? It's a striker. Okay, nail it. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Very good, Mech Warrior. One less vehicle, Kamea. So you need to sprint, get down here with this guy. So you can use your Atlas's absolutely badassness to do away with these guys. Oh, look, it's a panther. He's not gonna miss, is he? Oh, he is. He actually missed, okay. Waiting for orders. Reynard, who can you, what can you do? You got a griffin? You don't have a lot that you can do. There you go, that's what I want you to do. Only be able to see that one guy and shoot at him. You got pretty good shots here. Hit his arm. There you go. Blow that thing off his arm. And he can't use it again. Got an enforcer. The Atlas's little brother. His little cousin. Internal structure damage. Oh, canola oil. Be quiet. Oh, oh, that's a small one though. It's not the Demolisher. That shot went internal. Well, Receiving you. you get paid the big bucks, so. Confirm. Get down here and shoot this guy. Right there. Oh, that looks great. Um, yeah. Just, since it's not, since heat's not an issue for you, just fire everything. And in fact, let's use a precise strike. It moves him back one, but it doesn't matter because he's already gone. I just want you to take his arm off. There you go. Right there. Oh, yeah. All good arm shots. Boom. There it goes. <coughs> and the CT went, too. Oh, that's nice. Good. The central torso is toasty with the mosty. 
Highlander says, hey, I can see this rig down here. It's a scorpion. You should be able to kill it with the Gauss rifle, but you've got more than enough. There it goes. We've had a couple that we shot with a ghost rifle and it didn't kill him, so I feel like I have to I have to use overkill now. Tell me what you need. Well, I need you to blow this thing up. Is that something you can do? I'm on my way. Kamea, it's an enforcer. I'm gonna give you a chance to spend this resolve and just well, two percent for the headshot. So take out take out a leg. Okay, take out the chest. And the eyes. That's fine. Right there in the face. Uh, well, that's, I, w I would say that was heavy damage, yes. yes. Reynard, you may have a chance to actually finish it. No, Reynard. Because you're in a good position to do it. Yeah. Here, did that do it? Oh, I thought that was going to, oh, it knocked it down. Okay. Target's taking a critical hit. There we go. Order. Canola says, if I go up here, I can shoot all my little lasers at it. I can just shoot everything at it. Oh yes, right here, just core him out. Taking the shot. It's like a Pink Floyd concert. Shine on, you crazy diamond. All right, then we're ready to go. Let's sprint. Let's move. Black Knight, you wait. Bracing for impact. Move order received. Okay, this distance should be good. Hold on a second, and yes, surprise, gang. Oh, is that? Castle Nautilus, yeah. When I saw that the Torians were going to take it away from us, I planted a couple of demo charges in the armory right next to the ammunition dump. That rumble you just felt was about a thousand tons of high explosive cooking off at once. You destroyed it. A Star League Defense Force castle full of priceless technology. Gone. Well, I wasn't about to let the Torians have it. They're shooting at us, remember? Yes, Mr. Vertanen, of course. You're right. It had to be done. I'm with you, Kamea. It feels very, very, very sad is what it feels like. Copy that. Very sad to watch all of that tech go down the drain when it could have ended up on the Argo. This is Lady Arano to ARS Delphinus. Captain Gregus, do you read me? Lady Arano, thank the gods. We've got a visual on you and your lance. Get your people on board and we'll get you out of here. Thank you, Captain. Wait, what was that? I told you you die here. Run, Lady Arano. Run as far as you can. We'll find you all the same. And there goes the spaceship. That was an unarmed support ship, you animal. There was no need for you to target it. Tell that to the crew of the New Grange. How do you know about that? Ostergaard, answer me. He cut the line. What's the status of the Leopard Doc? Docking clamps are still locked down tight, but I've opened the doors to engineering. We can manually disengage the clamps from there. I'll go prepper for takeoff. Darius, I need your help with the clamps. Yeah, I'm on it. Lady Arano, I suggest you head deeper into the valley. They'll have a harder time targeting you with their artillery in there. And keep your eyes on the sky. Meyer will be on her way directly. Okay, get to the secondary LZ. And then there are artillery hits, so you don't want to be in those when those are going off. The secondary LZ is over here. So let's turn around and run. Acknowledge. I'm moving. Yes, I see that. Where's everybody else? Oh, enemy contact. Great. Okay. What else do we have? We have some bozo up here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this mission is not over. This is one of the rather lengthy ones that says, Hey, I'm going to get ready to roast you. Reynard, what do you got? I want you to continue to sprint, my boy. I, If I'm not mistaken, the 
first time I played through the campaign, I think I lost one of these people, and I think it might have been Reynard and this Griffin. And they just sensor locked him. So. Waiting for orders. Canola oil, get your sprint up here. Affirmative. Canaloa. And Kamea, you can sprint up here. Taking her to top speed. For what an Atlas II can do, Atlas II is a very nice mech. Lots of usable space on it. You can move up here and shoot somebody, and you have the ghost rifle. So I would on like you to do that. What do you got? You got a Vindicator. Okay, here's the deal. You're going to shoot his arm, because he's got a PPC on it. And if you shoot that off, he's mostly harmless. Mostly. He came close. You almost knocked him down. Got past the armor. That's a good one. That's a good job. Here comes another mech. I hate these guys. My forces are closing in on you, Lady Urano. Your time is running out. Yeah, big talk. Big talk, but as uh, as Warrant taught us, big talk is just talk. Unless you're backing it up. Unless you're backing it up. God. Miss Warrant. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. Take your PPC and smoke it. How does that make you feel? Feel like a big man? Oh, wow. Well. Reynard says... Okay. Ready you, my order. friend. Yes, look at you. Right over here. Let's see who you got. Copy that. Lady Urano, we've got incoming assault mechs. Yes, I see them. Just another obstacle to overcome. That for the restoration. That sounds, yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so we have a Zeus. Very nice. We'll do this. Lots of heat. Firing on multiple enemies. Kill the Vindicator on the ground, please. Not quite. Okay. <coughs> well then. He says, I will come hurt you. Oh, by sensor locking me. Okay. Alright, you in the Highlander, which is my favorite mech in the game. The 732B with the Gauss rifle is just a destroyer's dream. Oh, you can do some damage to the Zeus, can't you? And then you can also hit this dude. Okay, that's what we're going to do. This. Yes. Line him up and shoot him down. That's why I don't put SRMs on the Highlander. I just load it up with the Gauss rifle and a bunch of LRMs, and it turns into a beast. It's a beast. Oh, look at that. Internal structure damage. The bad kind. Is there a good kind? I'm just curious about that. Is there a good kind? Alrighty then. Lady Arano, you're up. Kamea, who would you like to kill? You got a lot of options here. But you only have... Oh, you got two guys here that you can go in straight at. So you can shoot... You got a 70% chance with the auto cannon to hit him. And you got a 95% chance to hit him on a bunch of stuff. So if we do this, doink and doink, this looks like a lot of damage laid out for us. Now that's what I want you to do. Oh, AC5 crit. Oh, nice. Yes, yes, yes. Hurt him. Hit him. Oh, you missed with your best weapon. At 70%, you missed with your best weapon. Well, I suppose if you're going to be the leader of the restoration and the sword of awesomeness, you need to consider... Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, now we get the bombs behind us. Kamea, I think the best thing we can do is start to consider just getting you out of here. Ready. So let's let's try that. We'll get you enough stuff here. Go ahead and run, Lady Kamea. You won't get far. I volunteered for this shit assignment so I can have the pleasure of hunting you down. But when I catch you, I will make you pay. Will you now? For the death of my oh, son. Oh, okay. So it's personal. Knock this griffin down if you can. This thing's gonna run right up here on the Black Knight. The Black Knight's in trouble. I'm not sure he's gonna make it, but he doesn't have to. Only Kamea has to make it, so. Yeah, I know. I'm not real fond of you not making it, but. You've not been having the best of times here. Um, yeah, you got a really good shot. Oh, and you lost a large pulse and two medium lasers. So, I think you should just shoot this guy. Well, that's nice. At this point in time, we have to consider the Black Knight lost. Because getting him to the exit zone is going to be a task. It's probably not that hard to get the other ones there. This is about the time you wish everybody was in a, a little locust and could just run. Or a phoenix, that'd be better. Yeah, they're really going after him. He's not going to make it. Reporting. Internal damage. Last time I know somebody died. Yeah. I'm not sure who it was, but... Okay. I'm listening. Who can you kill? Because that's the thing. It's who can you kill? There's a lot of damage to be had there. And she's got AC-20. There's some damage to be had there. <coughs> I'd like to get this guy. I'd like to finish him off. Let's go for the griffin and this. And shoot. Bingo. Bango. Bongo. No. Let's do that. Yes. Let's do that. Affirmative. Okay. Dead. He's dead, Jim. Jim, he's dead. The Vindicator is still not dead. Man, I just can't believe that. And here comes the awesome. This says, hey, I've got all the PPCs. Alright, you're here. How many can we kill? So there's the awesome. We've got a lot of weapons for him. We got, oh, a lot of weapons for the Zeus. Um, and then we still have you over here with the LRM. Here's what I want to do. I want to put the Zeus on the ground if we can. And he's got a damaged leg, so let's try it. That wasn't the leg. Neither is that. I mean, it's nice that you hit him there, but... If you would have hit him in the leg, he'd have fallen down. But since you didn't hit him in the leg, he gets a shot at the Black Knight. See, see, this is what game theory is. It's a directed graph, and each action determines what's possible in the next part of the directed graph. And because you didn't knock that guy on the ground, now things are going worse than they needed to. Oh. Your son was aboard the New Grange, wasn't he? That's what this is about. He was the captain of the New Grange. You spoke with him. I listened to his flight recorder. I heard you order his death. If that is the truth, then you know that I asked him to stand down. He was under orders. He couldn't stand down. But even if he could, do you think he would matter? He was my son. Nothing you say or do can make this right. The only restitution I will accept is your death. And so, Lady Arano, I am coming for you. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. Well, it's nice of you yes, Commander. to have a, a a blood feud like that. Let's see, the awesome we're not knocking down. But this guy, this is the whole thing. Yeah, if you knock, who do we knock down? The Zeus. 
What do you got? 70, 90, 99. Your odds of hitting him are probably low, so just aim. Oh, and see, since I didn't aim, he hit him in the leg. Nice. Very nice. Okay, good job. Timber. If a mech falls in the woods and nobody's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Vindicator and a whole bunch at the Battle Master. Okay, well, shoot the Battle Master, I guess, but look at that thing. Wow. The Battle Master. Wow, that's the, the bigger brother to the Thunderbolt. Quite awesome looking. Zeus says, hmm. I was awesome until you shot off my arm and knocked me over. Okay. Reading loud and clear. Cherry? Oh Terry, how far can you go? You can move. Man, we still we still have to fight this thing, don't we? Because this is just gonna be the best option. I mean we just can't sprint far enough to make it worthwhile. The Vindicator, you can finish off the Vindicator now. The question is would you rather do something else, like shoot the awesome in the leg? No, 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 no. I want you to do this. Shoot the awesome in the leg. It has a lot of leg armor. How much leg armor has it got? 165. Okay, well. So today on let's shoot the leg, the answer is let's shoot them in the arm. Oh. Blue team, unit down. Okay, it's time to get out of here. That was nasty. Um, I'm here. Yeah, that was no good. We don't have any more time to waste. Come here, you have to get out of here. Confirmed. Sorry. I mean, I thought we could fight all these guys off, but it's not going to happen. So, battle master who? What do we have here? You got him. You have a bruised leg. The battle master has a bruised leg. Shoot everything you can at him. I'm taking the shot. This is just bad. I don't remember there being this many big mechs before. Come on. You gotta get out of here. Yeah, I know. Well, oh, he's he's gonna be shut down. For the Oregon people. That might make it easier to get out of here. Mechs that were on the ground are now tiny pieces of mechs. Um, yeah, Reynard, you do your best, buddy, but this is gonna be a hard, hard, hard deal for you. So, do we want to kill that guy, or try to kill that guy, or just knock him down? I don't know what you reasonably think you can do, so just aim at the awesome. Oh, you hit him in the leg and you destroyed it. That's that's a miracle. I want to note that's what I really wanted to do, and I really wanted to use Precise Shot, but I was saving it for Kamea, or the Highlander, and he pulled it off without me asking. That's very nice. Battlemaster says I'm going to come up here. Shoot at the Highlander. Now my Highlander's leg is down. Okay. So now you're down. Can't hold it. Well, this has been uh, I'm hit. certifiably uh, epic, but this uh, is this is bad. Kamea, you have only one job. To sprint as fast as you can. Taking her to top speed. Battle mech power up detected. Oh no. Really? Okay. Stand you're gonna by. stand up and then you're gonna do your best to Shoot something in the leg. This guy. This big battle master dude. I'm okay, up. I know you are. Let's go. I know. It's, My mech is limping. Yeah. It's not good for you. What can you do? Roger. Mm. Once again, you failed to hit them in the leg with a Gauss rifle. That's the best weapon for shooting legs out. I mean, it like does instant... 
punch through damage on legs, and <coughs> I don't think she's hit a leg yet today. So, the awesome is feeling it. He's like, oh, I will shoot your Highlander. Internal structure damage. Oh, he missed the Griffin. How nice. The Zeus says, I still got a weapon. So you're in danger of dying. Crap, that shot went in. Well, I know. Oh my gosh. One inch at a time. This is like football with the wishbone and you can only get three yards at a run. Um, yeah, what are you going to do? Oh, here's the deal. If you go back here, you can turn around, you're in the zone, and then I just need you to shoot the legs out from somebody. Can you shoot his legs out? Oh, you might hit his core. Do it. You hit his leg. Oh, but you did central core him. Very nice. Central torso down. Okay. I like that. That was it. the vindicator still running. I'm using a vindicator in my camp in my career right now because it's one of the. I only have like four, five medium mechs. It's early, and that thing is so fragile. I can't believe that one is still running. Kamea, get over here. Turn her kind of around. Okay. Yeah, this one's gonna come shoot my guy, isn't it? If I punch, oh, I was going to say, if I punch out, can we just go home? I've got you, Lady Arano. Setting a return course for the Argo. We need to fall back to restoration space while we still can. Thank you, Miss Meyer, and you, Commander. You saved my life, the both of you. I wouldn't be too sure about that. If the Tarians, my people, are on the Directorate's side, I don't know if any of us will ever be safe again. Successful. It was successful. Thank goodness none of those were our max. Two of them didn't make it. I was thinking, I'm just going to punch this. <laughs> I'm just going to punch out and let my pilot get us done. But, uh, yeah. Oh, that's just a disaster. Okay, well, that's fine. Be oh, oh my gosh. We get some of this salvage. Oh, how awesome is that? What do we got for unique weapons? Anything? There's some medium lasers that are plus three. Wow. Okay, well then we're going to take the awesome. Because that's awesome. I'm not as worried about the rest of these mechs. There's a griffin and a shadowhawk. I'll take the shadowhawk because that gives me a completed one to sell. But I want these. I'll grab those. Now let's see what it gives us. Oh, I thought it might give it be generous and give us some more of the mechs. But nope. Very well. Well, that was quite the one-two punch of missions, wasn't it? Goodness gracious. This isn't over, Lady Arano. I will find you. And my son will be avenged. Pray that your uncle's soldiers reach you before I do. He had innocent people he was caring for. If that's what you say, he could have just powered down and got out of the ship. Everybody always has a choice, you know. All right. That was a nightmare, but I think we're finally through it. I've quarantined the Locura in secondary storage, and I've shut down the drive. Can't hurt us anymore. Excuse me, Doc, the what? The malicious code from the Nautilus. That's what I'm calling it now, the Locura, like Lady Arano's story. It needed a name, and this seemed as appropriate as anything else. Any objections? I don't care what we call it, Doc. I just want to know that what we're going to do with it. What we're going to do is leave it alone. Secondary storage is now officially off limits. That means no more Star League maps, no more hidden archive, nothing. Put some yellow tape around it if you need to. Whatever you have to do to remind yourselves. Just don't touch it. Nobody will touch anything or they'll have me to answer to. Samiri was right. This entire sorry episode was a terrible mistake. 
Yeah, well, we're still alive, Lady Arano. We even recovered a few battle mechs. I'm calling that a win. Don't know if I'd go that far, but I'm glad we're still breathing. Are you sure that the rest of the Argo systems are secure, Farah? I mean, really sure? If they weren't, we wouldn't be having this conversation. I'm about 90% certain that the code was trying to detonate our fuel reserves. If it were still doing damage, the Argo probably would have exploded by now. This Locura, this code, what the hell is it? It's a research project, I think. Some kind of experiment. The file was housed in a research archive labeled SDSM-2. It seemed to have something to do with an old space defense program that used robot drones to shoot down warships. I know it sounds ridiculous, like some kind of periphery campfire story, but it's the best I've got to go on. From what I can put together, they were researching something that had gone wrong with the drones, the M2 models. It seems that there was an accident and the drones malfunctioned. They killed a lot of people. The scientists at Nautilus were tearing the coat apart, trying to isolate what had happened and, until they stopped for some reason, sealed up the whole archive in quarantine and never touched it again. That's the best I can give you. Like I said, I don't have a complete picture. There were hundreds of variants of the file sealed away in the Nautilus core memory, and I only opened the one. And all things considered, that's probably for the best. All right, you all heard the doc. Hands off the secondary storage. Let's move on. We have other problems to discuss. Yeah, I like the fact that we're fighting the Taurians now. Sure, let's talk about that. How the hell did that happen? I mean, I get that we killed the Commodore's son, but people die every day. Nations usually don't go to war over them. I think that the Directorate has been in bed with the Taurians for a while now, Yang. That's where their weapons have been coming from. If ships like the New Grange have been running weapons to the Directorate since our victory on Weldry, and the New Grange was a Taurian vessel, it stands to reason that Espinosa and Protector Caldera have been doing business on the sly ever since the war started. Right now, the why of it doesn't matter. The Torians have just declared war on the Restoration, and that changes everything. Alexander, I need you to contact Lady Centrella and arrange a war council. Maybe she can help us dig ourselves out of this. I'll need you there as well, Commander. Be ready to set a course for Weldry. All right, from one frozen hellhole to another. I can't wait. You must have better things to worry about than the weather, Blade Runner. We all do. I must return to our people. In the face of the Taurian war machine, I fear that our systems may begin to abandon us. The founding houses that we've already liberated need to see that our cause isn't lost. You sure about that? Because from where I'm standing, things aren't looking so good. I will find us a way out of this, Mr. Vertan, and I swear it on my father's name. And thanks for your help on Archru. I offer you this Star League era Highlander Blade Runner. May it carry you to victory in the days to come. Ooh. We get the Highlander 732B, an ancient model from the Star League days. It's Gauss Rifle. Yes, so we get the Gauss Rifle. Nice. We're deep in Directorate Space Commander. There won't be any work for us out here, so we'll need to pilot a course back to the restoration. Come to navigation when you're ready. Sweet. We get that Highlander. Oh, nice. That's the good one. So that means we've got to get rid of something else. Well, the thing we're probably never going to use is this Orion. What else do we have? We have that Kintaro. It's 55. I want some small ones in case we need them for something shifty. Um, so yeah, we're going to get rid of that Orion. The Shadowhawk is not anything I care about. I do want to take a look at that thing, though. Right here to end this episode, this thing is, is just one of my favorites. It's so incredibly awesome. It's so much better than the one we had. This thing has the PPC and it's got LRM 10s and LRM 20 pluses. We're going to want to refit it so that we can put them on this. At any rate, that's where we're at. I'm going to do that between episodes, get these guys ready to refit um, for now. That's it. Wow, one two punch double feature episode everybody thanks for watching as always if you guys like the channel subscribe if you dig the episode give it a thumbs up if you have a question or comment drop it down below and if you want to financially support this channel for the price of a copy cup coffee cup 
a cup of coffee. If you want to support the channel financially, my Patreon is listed down below in the description. One of these days I'll get that right in the sign-off. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.